everybody's gonna understand that. <laughs> yeah, what's the point? From the bottom of my sleeve wearing heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. BB might work, but he won't always be a baby, so anyway. Come on, Bonnie. Let's go back to the house real quick. Come on. Let's go. Get in. Good girl. Yeah, here we go. So it's Monday, so that means that I've got to get the kids back to their homeschool co-op today. So we fed the small group, and I'll come back and we'll feed silage hopefully before the rain gets here. Well, so far so good. It's not raining yet. He's been feeding while I took the kids to their school and uh, I think probably halfway done. So that's good. Maybe we'll make it before it rains. Y'all, thank you so much for going and checking out my friend Natalie's new YouTube channel, The Cavorics. And today, I want to remind you of another Nebraska friend that I have who is also a rancher who also sells these awesomely honest hats. Every time I wear this hat, y'all ask me where I got it. Well, I got it from my friend. Okay, wait, no, there's more to the story. I have three very good friends in Nebraska that the interwebs have brought me. Stephanie, Natalie, and Taryn. My friend Stephanie also is a rancher. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she's awesome. She gave me this hat a couple of years ago. We got to meet in Colorado. We took a trip and it was amazing and I want to go back. But anyway, neither here nor there. She bought me this hat and then I found out who made these hats. And then just as things happen, we got connected on the interwebs and we've become good friends. So the girl that makes these hats is Taryn Dreeling. Her YouTube channel is Fate, Family, and Beef. I have told you about it before, but if you're new here, you might not know that or remember that, or maybe you didn't go check it out. Why not? You need to right now. I will link it up here or here. I never know. One day I'm going to, I'm going to pay attention to that, which finger. Anyway, go check out her store. Well, check out her YouTube channel and check out her store, which I will link in the description. Get you a hat. These hats are not just for ladies, y'all. Men can wear these hats too because beef does build beautiful bodies, right? I mean, it just does. Beef is amazing. My whole family lives off of beef every day. We eat beef every day and you should be eating beef every day too because it's good for you. Don't let anybody tell you different, all right? All the beef and all the butter, it's good for you. All right, so go check out her, her channel. She's doing a great job. Give her a follow, give her a subscribe, give her some love. Welcome, welcome them. <laughs> welcome them. Welcome her to YouTube too, if you haven't been there yet. And uh, thank y'all for showing so much love to Natalie too. Yay, got her over a thousand subs. I'm so excited for her. So let's do the same for Taryn and keep the love going. All right, let's go feed some cows shortly and mud, more mud. Like Lawrence said, when it, like right after it rains, the first, it's first off after it rains is not so bad because it's soupy. We can get through soup pretty good. It's a day or two after that it gets sticky. That's not fun. And, uh, right now we're kind of in, we're in, in between soup and sticky. It's just going to get worse because we have more rain coming. But that's Okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's all going to be good. Hey, little doodle. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Checking it out. Checking you out. dangerous out here y'all standing next to those tires they always get me through here 
and I'm not wearing my bibs. <sighs> Just a little mud, that's all. I keep thinking I should wash these jeans and then I'm like, um, yeah, what's the point? Now we're just waiting on a little hay. So yesterday I posted, no, two days ago. Yes. I don't know what day. I don't even know what day it is right now. It's Monday. Anyway, I posted on Instagram some words about being stuck in a rut. And I've written about that before at length, but you know, it's true. Sometimes we do get stuck in a rut, but what I've been chewing on over the last few days is how the ruts and the mud on the farm, but in life are necessary. And they're not only necessary, but without them, we wouldn't grow because water, rain brings the mud, right? Well, we have to have the rain and we have to have the storms even in life to progress on and to grow in so many ways right there's a lot there's a lot that could be unpacked there so I don't know maybe just think about that yourself and how the ruts in life and the storms and that that life brings you have allowed you to grow and continue to allow you to grow and change and evolve and you know one season leads to another. Mud season does not last forever, thank the Lord above. Thank you, Jesus, that the mud season does not last forever. We do have hope in him. We do have hope that things change. And sometimes it just takes getting through the mud to appreciate what's on the other side, right? Yes. I appreciate spring. I appreciate sunshine when it's out. <laughs> I appreciate warm weather. And I appreciate all the things that the mud and the rain and the storms eventually bring. So, there you go. Okay, this is what happens when I'm, I'm standing, holding gates and feeding cows. My wheels turn and I chew and mull on things and sometimes they come out in words and sometimes they come out well they come out in words sometimes they come out through my fingers on a page and sometimes I'll share them with you we're washing boots here y'all let's see if he has any more advice today we'll see hey babe what? everyone really liked your corn plant advice have any more advice for us today? Keep a tight line and give them plenty of slack. <laughs> yeah, that's one I've heard a million times. Keep a tight line, give it plenty of slack. Nobody's going to understand that. <laughs> Isn't there a story that goes with that? Yeah. Will you share it? Sometimes. Love you too. Let's go. Okay, we'll get that story later. Okay, I tried y'all. There is a story that goes with that. Keep a tight line, give it plenty of slack. I seriously hear that all the time. Our kids know it, they say it. But um, if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. So, we'll try to get the rest of that story. Woo, hello Fraggle Rock. Um, we'll try to get the rest of that for you. I don't know if it'll be in this video or not though. He's got things on his mind. He's doing something. He's calling somebody. I don't know. But right now, I am heading back to the house. So it's Monday, the kids are in their school. I have writing deadline. I have a writing deadline that is looming over me. <laughs> um, he's in his truck office, in his trough office. Woo, it's a little bumpy, hold on. Um, I have a writing deadline, so I'm going home while it's quiet. And I'm 
I'm going to try to focus because sometimes I have trouble focusing. And me and deadlines go together about like, I need to take out a four wheel drive, about like oil and water sometimes. Mm -hmm. I do tend to work better under pressure. Anyone else out there like that? But I let the pressure build up and stress me out until I just get it done. And then once I get it done, it's the best feeling in the world. So we're going to see if we can crank out some words for a magazine article. Oh, more than one magazine article. <laughs> anyway, and uh, see what else we can do today. I hope the rain holds off. Y'all, I know the lighting is really bad. Really quick though, okay? I'm sitting here at my computer. I just finished writing. I got my writing done. I finished my article. I feel good about it. I wrote about Papa. I will link uh, a video to him up here. It's been almost a year since we lost Papa. Okay, I'm feeling emotional for a lot of reasons right now. Anyway, I'll let you know when that article is published in Progressive Farmer and share it with you. But right now, I just took a minute to look at some YouTube comments and um, I went over and checked out my friend Natalie's page channel that I talked about in my last video. I'm sorry the light's so bad. That I talked about in my last video. And um, y'all, y'all are amazing. You're amazing. Okay. Yesterday, she had like 200 or 300 subscribers. She's at 1.66 thousand now. Y'all did that, okay? I don't even know what to say. I, I just started tearing up a minute ago. Thank you. Y'all are the best viewers out there. I love y'all. I'm proud of you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I told you you would love her channel, and obviously you do. <laughs> So do the same thing for our friend, Taryn. She's both of our friend, Faith, Family, and Beef. Also a Nebraska rancher. Also does a lot on horseback. They're two amazing families. So please subscribe to her as well. You're going to love both their channels. You're going to love both of them because they're amazing women doing amazing things. I just love y'all. And that's all. That's all I'm going to say right now. I'm not going to cry. I'm not, I'm not going to cry. I might, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it when I turn the camera off. Y'all are great though. Thank you. Well, another three tenths today, so far, overnight. It's a little soupy, a little sloppy. <laughs> oh, I hear you, Elmo. Good morning. Are you hungry? Another rainy, Clara, leave him be. Another rainy morning. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh boy, what are you gonna do when you're weaned? It's not gonna be long. You're gonna have to eat your feed. Yeah. I didn't order this rain, did you order this rain? slippery today. It's like a skating rink with mud. Even one of the troughs earlier was sliding down, sliding down the, I would say hill. It's not very steep, but it was sliding. It's starting to spit. I'm kind of over all this, y'all. We're kind of over all this, except it's not over. <laughs> oh, I know I complain a lot. I'm sorry. Yes, I wish we could send this rain to Australia. My heart and our prayers go out to everyone over there fighting the fires and drought. Mm. It never always seems to be where it needs to be, does it? No, it doesn't. I'm ready for I'm ready for this to see its way out though. Oh yeah, here comes some rain. More rain. Well, y'all, 
it's a good night for chili beans, cornbread, and prepping for cold weather coming in. Bless his heart. So it's uh, 59 right now, but they're calling for really cold weather this weekend. So we need wood. I see cedar, right? Looks like it. Anyway. That thing right there is worth its weight in gold. Well, both. The farmer and the wood splitter. <laughs> well, I just called him BB. It's what came out. And you know what I realized? I can call him BB. Because eventually he'll go from the baby bull to big bull. It's a, it's a name that transitions. That's awesome. It's mud is not, but that is. <sighs> Holy smokestacks. Panda said she's a smart girl. I'm laying over here in this dry hay. Oh, you're gonna have to get more hay today, girl. It'll come. Woo! I gotta hold on now. Alright, we gotta get a run and start. Come on, Susie. You got this. Here we are, back at it. <laughs> and this morning, while I was riding, make sure there's nothing coming out. Um, this morning while I was riding in the back of the Zuki, I got to thinking, like I tend to do when we were riding through the mud, how um, <laughs> when the mud is so deep and thick, we can't stop. We did stop and we almost got stuck. And it's kind of like that with life, right? We've got to put it in another gear when things get tough. Whether it's four high or four low, Whatever we do, we got to put it in another gear and we got to keep going. If we stop, then we get stuck and it's harder to get going again. So, today's lesson in mudology, never give up. Don't stop. Keep going. Dig in, put it in another gear, and keep going. Eventually, the mud's going to dry up and we're going to be on the other side of it. So, there you go. That's all I got today. Also, before I forget, sometime in the past few days, we hit over 40,000 subscribers on this channel. What? Y'all are amazing. I, uh, I'm flabbergasted that 40,000 of you think enough of me and our family in this channel to subscribe and to continue to show up and offer your words of encouragement and tell me how much you can relate to what we're doing and this lifestyle and how much you're learning and truly I'm honored and just blown away I honestly can't believe it I remember when I never thought I'd have a thousand subscribers much less 40,000 so thank you from the bottom of my sleeve wearing heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.